Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is probably the most exciting video that I have filmed yet. I've just spent the long weekend in London and whilst I was there I was lucky enough to be able to go to the in-person Glossier store. Whilst I was there I tried out a bunch of the products and for someone like me who has never tried or even seen any Glossier products in person before apart from the lip balms, it was like heaven walking around being able to try everything. I did purchase quite a few goodies which I want to try with you guys in today's video. I have already prepped my skin just doing my normal daily morning skincare routine which is just the CeraVe eye cream and moisturizer. So now that I've done that we can officially move on to trying all of the products. I can't wait, I'm genuinely so excited for this. If you haven't heard of Glossier before, they're a very natural makeup brand. I feel like they are the epitome of no makeup makeup. It's very, very natural. I've wanted to try Glossier makeup for about two years now, so I can't believe I'm actually trying it. Like, even just seeing this pink bag is making me so happy. I'm going to start just by putting my hair up because a lot of Glossier's products, they say to apply with your fingers. So I have a feeling this is going to end up being kind of messy. So I'm just going to tie my hair up and then put this headband on, which I... Oh, I'll put this on back to front. There we go. All out my face now. <laughs> also, I am sat in front of my mirror, so I've got a mirror here. So if I'm looking in this direction, that's why. I'm so excited for this. The products came in Glossier's signature pink bag. I'm way too excited for this. Oh, cute, we got some stickers too. Nice. I don't know where I'm gonna put them, but they're cute. <laughs> I haven't even taken anything out of the packages yet. And look how cute the packaging is, just like this. Oh my gosh, I could just leave it in the boxes. I might just display these on a shelf in my room or something. They just look so cute. That's one thing I do like about Glossier before even trying the products. I mean, I say I haven't tried them. When I was in the shop, they have testers that you can try as such. But I am also was just like testing colours, so swatching colours. I didn't actually use the products as though I was putting them on. Like I would in a normal makeup routine. But... Before even testing the products, that's one thing I lo love about the brand, the packaging. It's so cute. I like how simple it is. It's literally like, you know, the whole clean girl makeup trend is that in a makeup brand. Like, look at the boxes. They're just so cute. I'm hoping this is a good angle and you can see my face without too much of a glare from the window. Okay, so the first product I'm going to try is the Glossier Future Dew. This is the only skincare product that I got from Glossier. Yes! So this is the Glossier Future Dew. Oh, hi Chester! Look at this. Doesn't it look pretty? Anyway, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Right, so this is the Future Dew. It retails for £26 and is marketed by Glossier as an oil serum hybrid. It says to apply two pumps all over your face as the last step in your skin routine. Add more to the high points of the face for extra glow. Whoa. It looks so pretty. Right, I'm just going to squirt out. Oh my gosh, that came out really quickly. I'm just going to squirt out two pumps of this and then rub it on like all around my face as I would moisturizer. Ooh. Ooh, it actually smells really nice. I have quite dry skin as well, so already I'm feeling like this is a really hydrating product, which is going to be good. I don't know if you can see that, if the camera picks it up, but that... Whoa! See, on a good skin day, like, luckily I have to say, like, I'm very grateful to have quite clear skin. I get the occasional breakout or so, but for the most part, I have quite clear skin. I could just wear this on its own. If I'm having a good skin day, I could just wear this. Oh my gosh. Can you see? Look at the glow. Whoa. Right, I think I am going to put just the tiniest bit extra on my cheekbones because even the packaging said to apply a little bit more on the high points of your face if you want extra glow and who doesn't want a little bit of extra glow, you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it smells of, but whatever it is, it smells nice. Does it say on the packaging? No. Maybe it says in the box. No. 10 out of 10. Yeah. I love it. Is it worth £26? Maybe, yeah. I mean, look how big the bottle is. It's a relatively big bottle. It's 30 millilitres. 
so I think it'll last a while. First product, I'm in love. Right, okay, the second product I'm going to use is the Perfecting Skin Tint. And I wanted to try it mainly because I hate foundation. I hate the way it looks. I hate the way it feels. It's just not my thing. Yet sometimes I feel like I do need somewhat of like just an overall base. I'm trying this. I got the color G11. Yeah, yet again, this is 30 milliliters. And this is supposed to be very, very sheer. Look how cute the bottles are. It's like little bottles of paint. Cute. It does say on here, it says... Shake, then smooth over moisturized skin with fingertips. Blend upward and outward for sheer coverage and instant dewiness. So what I'm going to do is, because obviously it says to use your fingers, I'm going to use a brush, a regular foundation brush, which is what I would normally use for foundation, on the right side of my face for you guys. And then I'll use my fingers on the left-hand side of my face for you guys. Um, just to see how it works with different tools and decide what I like best. I am going to just squeeze like the tiniest bit on the back of my hand. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. See, one of the ladies in the shop helped me shade match, so I didn't actually look at the product. Look how runny it is. Oh my goodness. That is so watery. I might just use a little bit to begin with. I don't see a difference. I actually can't tell a difference. Hold on, I feel like I didn't put enough on maybe. This stuff smells nice as well, actually. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's very, very natural. It is super, super sheer. Yeah, you can see it sort of just reduced redness, but it's not really covered anything, which is pretty much what I wanted, and it's what they say on the packaging and the website as well. It's so sheer. Like, you can hardly tell I'm wearing anything, which I know is the entire point, but, like, seriously, you can't see anything. I bought it as a set with the concealer, so it's cheaper if you get them together. On its own, it's £26, so the same as a Future Dew. If you were to buy them together, it's £43. Right, now I'm going to try this again using my fingers. I'm just going to rub it in like a moisturiser. Oh yeah, that's that's much easier. I feel, yeah, that's giving me slight, not really much coverage, but that looks even more even than using a brush. Okay. Yeah, using my fingers is better. To be fair, like honest opinions and everything, I don't know if it's really needed. Like, it makes my skin look dewy. It's evened out my skin tone and I do get a little bit of discoloration around my mouth so it's gotten rid of that. But I feel like it's not necessary. You know, am I making sense? If you're looking for a foundation that's actually gonna cover things, that's not it. But if you're looking for something just natural, dewy, then yeah. Personally, I like it, and I can still see the shine from the Future Dew. Like, as a combination, they actually look really good together. But it's very, very, very lightweight. Like, I used, I don't know how many drops, but I still don't have very much coverage. Oh, whoa, the lighting's changed again. Goodbye, sun. Moving on to the third product, I got the Stretch Concealer. I can't open the box. I got mine in the colour Very Light 2. It's called the Stretch Balm Concealer. And it says, medium coverage plus dewy finish. And use fingertips to tap and blend onto clean, moisturised skin. Add more as needed for extra coverage. Bro, yet again using fingers. I'm going to do the same thing using a brush on this side and my fingers on this side. Just so that I can sort of compare afterwards. Look how clean it looks. I kind of don't want to ruin it. It looks so pretty. Pick up some product. And then, oh, there we go. Yes. Actually, I, I could do with a smaller mirror. Hold on. I feel like it's a little too light. Like, it's really light. Oh, no. Oh, no. I haven't got the wrong colour. I mean, it's brightening, but it's so light. Oh, no. I mean, the coverage-wise, it's much better than the skin tint, but... Oh, bummer. I mean, apart from the colour, the coverage is okay. Yet again, very natural, but 
I quite like it. It's really creamy. Using a brush is definitely like it's given it sort of a streaky look. I'm going to try and use a sponge over the top and see if that helps. I'm going to try it now with my finger on the other side of my face. We go and just see. Hopefully there'll be less creasing with using my finger. I feel like there's less coverage actually using my finger than the brush. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, I put a couple more layers of the concealer on and I prefer the finish of it with more layers because it adds a bit more coverage but it's still very lightweight and natural. I like it probably not as much as the skin tint. I feel like I like the skin tint more. Um, I did use the sponge just to blend it in because although it is like it blended out okay it was a little bit light to begin with but that is the base done. I'm really happy with it. It looks very very natural but it's also even my skin tone out, which is good. Okay, next I'm going to try the Cloud Paint. I'm so excited for this one. I got it in the color Puff, which is a baby pink. And I did look at getting the color Bean, but it was very similar to the color of my MUA Cream Blush, which is like a peachy color. This is the color of my MUA one, and then this is the color of the Glossier one. So I wanted to get something a little bit different, so I didn't end up with like two of the same thing. I feel like I'm already very pink and blush isn't very necessary, but I'm still gonna use it anyway. Oh my gosh. It's like a little paint tube. The packaging's so cute. So I bought this in a set with the Future Dew for £39, but if you get it on its own, it's £20. I don't know how pigmented this stuff is because I just did like a little swatch on my face in the shop. So I'm just gonna do the tiniest bit to begin with. Such a pretty colour. Oh, that that is literally the perfect colour for me. Like I said, I'm very pink at the moment already. Whoa. That's only three dots. Wow. Very pigmented. Oh, that's so cute. Alright, I'm going to leave it at that because I am quite pink today. I'm not going to add another layer. I'm just going to use the re extra residue on my nose. But I'll just finish it like that for today. I didn't even try using a brush. I was supposed to try using my cream blush brush to blend it out, but I didn't. Oops. To be fair though, everything has worked better using my fingers to blend it out. So Who needs brushes when you've got these? That looks so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love that colour. See, this looks so natural. Like, I'm looking in the mirror and I it doesn't even look like I've got makeup on. So pretty. The final face product I have to try in today's video is the Halo Scope, which is their Dew Effect Highlighter, which retails for £22. I got mine in the colour Quartz, which is like a champagne colour. And inside, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It has a dew centre, and then the colour is around the outside. And then it just has like a little twistable um, end to it, which makes the product rise as you use more of it. I did swatch this on my hand in the shop, but I didn't try it on my face, lay it over other makeup. So I'm interested to see how this how this works. I'm just going to roll it on the high points of my face, on my cheekbones and on my nose, because that's where I like to look extra dewy. Not that I need it after that future dew. I didn't read the packaging. What does it say? Glide onto cheek and brow bones and blend with fingertips to enlighten your face. Yeah, I thought so. Too exciting. I can't contain my excitement right now. Oh, it's literally so pretty. Look at that. I've wanted a cream highlighter for so long that doesn't have thick glitter because I hate the way that thick glitter highlighters look on my skin. And this is just perfect. It looks so pretty and natural. Okay, so that is all of the face makeup products which I wanted to try in today's video. I didn't get any of their eyebrow or eye products because I have very sensitive eyes and I don't wear makeup on my eyebrows and eyelashes. So the very final thing we have to test in this video is the Balm.coms. So the set of Balm.coms is £36, but if you want to buy them individually, they're £14. And these are the three that I went for. We've got the Mint the mango, and the wild fig. 
Not only are these all different scents, all of the three that I chose are also different tints as well. So there's one clear, one peach, and one ready pink sort of colour. I'm going to start by trying the mango one. Oh my gosh. So this is what the mango looks like. I'm going to try this one first. Yeah, so as you can see, this one is peach tinted, which I like. I like a very subtle tint with lip balms. Oh my gosh, that smells like heaven. Oh my gosh. I tried this in the shop. I know what it smells like. They're like, just smelling it again. Wow. Yes, I'm in love. Favorite daily, lip balm from now on. Hey guys, it's currently the following day. Unfortunately, my camera battery did die halfway through filming the balm.com review. So I've come back today to finish testing the wild fig and the mint lip balms. Yesterday when I tried the mango, I loved this one and I did have self-control. I haven't tried these yet. So that's what I'm going to finish testing now. I've currently got the mango one on as well as all of the other products that I tested in the rest of this video that you would have just seen. I thought it would just be better if I still had exactly the same thing on. So I've got a full face of Glossier on at the moment. I didn't use any other products other than the ones that I've tested in this video so far. So we're pretty much continuing where we left off yesterday. Oh, these are so cute. Now I have my little trio. <laughs> this is what the mint one looks like. This is the wild fig. Yet again, super cute packaging. These are going to have to like be displayed on a shelf in my room or something. Okay. I'm going to start with using the mint because the wild fig is intriguing me the most and I want to save that till last. So I'm going to try this one first. I have a feeling... Oh, it smells really minty. I have a feeling this is going to be somewhat like Carmex. Like, not necessarily plumping, but because it's mint, it'll have that sort of tingling feel, you know? Could be wrong. We'll see. So this is the one that has a clear tint. Oh, I actually really like this one. Despite it being a lip balm, it looks quite glossy on actually. Glossy, glossy, eh? Sorry, I had to say that. And it's not tingling, which I kind of prefer to be honest. It's cooling, weirdly cooling. It's nice. Okay, that's that one. And now time for the wild fig. And this is the one that my mum's already tried. So you can see. <coughs> I haven't tested this yet, but when I saw my mum wearing it, it looked really pretty, so. As you can see, it's just like a ready tint. It looks kind of darker than I remember it looking on my mum, but, whoa, whoa. so red. I mean, firstly, it smells incredible. Secondly, it's a lot redder than I thought it would be. And thirdly, I actually like it. <laughs> it's actually really pretty. This would have been really good for prom. Bummer. Compared to the mango tint, this is a lot darker. I like that one. Three out of three. I liked all of them. Okay, so that is the finished Glossier makeup look. I have to say, I feel like a glowing goddess at the moment. Like, the only way I can think of to describe it is it's like a blur filter. It's very subtle makeup. You can't really tell that I'm wearing it. But it just makes my skin look really natural and glowy. Okay, now I'm going to do a final product review. Starting with my top three products personally, I would say the Future Dew, the Halo Scope, and the Cream Blush. The Cream Blush was super pigmented. I don't know how long this is gonna last me, probably forever. Then the highlighter stick was exactly what I've been needing. I didn't want chunky glitter or something that was super noticeable, and this is really natural, but it gives, I mean, look at the glow. I don't think I have to say anything else. And the Future Dew as well. I think I could even just wear this on its own. Like, it's just so pretty. And it's quite a big bottle as well, so they're my favourites. The only thing I will say, though, this is very oily. Like, it is literally described as an oil serum hybrid. And for me, that's fine because I have very dry skin. But if you already have oily skin, then I don't really know if this is something you'd want to be using because it's just adding extra oil. So I think depending on your skin type and what sort of makeup you like to wear, then I guess you can just decide whether it's something that you would actually like or not. Then with the skin tint, I was a little bit skeptical about this to begin with because initially I used like two drops and it did absolutely nothing. And I was like, um, is it even there? 
but this morning when I used it I applied two layers using my fingers I didn't use a brush at all I just used my fingers and it was much better still doesn't have a lot of coverage it's still quite sheer but it just evens your skin tone out and personally for me I like it then the one thing that I didn't really like it well I don't know it's just kind of a bit of a letdown I thought I would love it but the concealer just settled in my under eyes and was just leaving really noticeable orange lines and for spot covering as well because it is slightly lighter than my skin it didn't really do an awful lot personally not my favorite I think on a day-to-day -day basis I'm more likely to end up using my concealer that I used before I got this one which is the MUA concealer so this is the concealer I used to use and then this is the new one so they're very very similar colors I just feel like this one it doesn't crease as much I'm not sure I'm not really 100% sold on this one and then final thing which was the balm.coms which we've just tried surprisingly I think the mint might be my favorite and when we were in the shop that was the one out of all three that I said to my mum you sure you don't want to get a different one? And yeah, I'm glad we did because I actually really like it. I like the feel of this one. I like the smell of this one. And I like the look of this one. So, perfect combination. I like all of them. Okay, so that is the end of my Glossier testing and review. For the most part, I'm really happy with everything. I'm glad that I've now officially tried it. And I'm definitely going to be adding the majority of these to my normal routine. If you did like this video then please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and turn on post notifications so you're notified every single time I post a new video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!